In the summer of 2007, 10 people gave samples of their blood, saliva, skin cells, disease and lifestyle information. They also agreed to have their genomes sequenced and posted on the internet for all the world to see. Cardiac uh, hypertrophy, mm -hmm. uh, is that the condition that often kills athletes in their prime? Yes, you, you yes, see? yes, yeah. yes. So I have the rare version. You do presumably have the rare version. How our lives will unfold in public will foreshadow how the public views learning their own genomic information. People are saying that the future of the genome is 20 years from now. I say it's happening now. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you to this hearing of the um, U.S. Senate Special Committee on Aging. Do you promise that the testimony you are about to give will be the truth? The whole I'm Rosalind Gill Garrison. I'm the, one of the founders and the chief science officer of a biotech company called Siona, where we actually do genetic screening of people and provide dietary and lifestyle advice. Siona was formed with the goal of bringing the benefits of the Human Genome Project directly to the consumer, to use this information to provide healthcare information which is focused on health and wellness rather than the treatment of illness. And it is the duty of our company to deliver this information in an ethical and responsible manner. Like you, I think you see the promise in genetic testing. I hope you come away from this hearing with a suspicion that some damage is being done to that promise. And uh, there may be marketing going on right now uh, that, that, that is simply uh, today's snake oil. And uh, we owe the American people better than that. Volunteering for the Personal Genome Project was an important step for me. And so this is an opportunity to kind of really put myself out there. I've got to walk the walk while I talk the talk. I'm really excited about the opportunity to make this information more accessible and take away a lot of the fear factor associated with genetics. Good morning. I'm fine, thank you. Even when we started our company in 2000, when people would talk about DNA, they, the only thing they knew was OJ's DNA. And so DNA, either it's going to kill you because you've got scary genes inside or it's going to incriminate you. The greatest hope for genetic sequencing technology is to be able to use this information so that we can get the right medicines for the right people, look at personalized nutrition, how, how people, what sort of things people should eat, how they could optimize their health. Now that I'm finally here, we're driving up right now. It's like a few butterflies, a little bit, a little bit nervous that we're, we're finally going to do this. Hi, Rosalind. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My sister and her children were visiting last week, and we were talking about this. And okay, guys, you know I'm going to be out there. Everything's going to be there. Claim my relatedness to infamous villains. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, the main thing is because your <clears throat> data will be public, people can misinterpret it publicly mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. and it could take you quite a while to sort out uh, the public image uh, um, if people decide to use this as a, a form of authority that they would have. They, they know something about you. Right, right, well. So it's not just about the truth coming out. It's also about potential distortions of the truth. Mm -hmm. I've been living that for a while anyway, so. Okay. I think it would be naive for me not to worry a little bit about an impact on my kids. So will I find out anything over the coming months that could impact their health? On my father's side of the family, there's actually quite a lot of cancer. On my mother's side of the family, uh, stroke, hypertension, and so there may be some issues that come up. Uh, understandable. The things I do for science. I do have to kind of rely on belief that with some of the bills coming through Congress that the information will be protected to prevent abuse of this type of information. And that's an important thing that I think George has done by putting this program together. He's kind of pushing the envelope, helping to force the debate. I think the opportunity of being one of the pioneers is, is a great honor, but also for me personally, um, being involved in this project and, and the amount of education and empowerment we can give to the public through, through these efforts, I think is fantastic. Before we got started, I think uh, 
Um, one thing worth uh, going over that we've been doing with everyone is just making sure that you're all right with us doing this uh, mm -hmm. genomic consultation. Absolutely. And is there anything that you'd like us to redact or not discuss? No. no. Great. No. Okay. No, so. I want all of the information and right. everything all you right. can give me. So I don't really want to you know, blank off any part of my sequence. I want it all. I want all the information. <laughs>